Happy Taurus season, Divine Ones. This is Minister Ashley, and we're going to dive into this powerful energy, the goddess energy that we could all use in our lives. Each one of us is connected to divine feminine energy as well as to the goddess energy. You have gods and you have goddesses. And we're going to get into this overall powerful energy as we have the solar eclipse, and we also have new moon in Taurus, which is great for manifestation. So stay tuned. If you feel up to a little reading, you can go to our blog post going into this goddess energy and the divine feminine energy. I speak about other goddesses such as Asherah, which I may touch on a little bit here. I will also do a, a mini video about her. Um, Sedna, which is also like a, a planet that is affecting us at this time in Taurus. Medusa also affecting us at this time and other prominent divine feminine energies that ties in with what's going on in the collective at this moment. And if you would like to dive deeper into this energy, I have a PDF download that I get into the Sabian symbols, angels, herbs to use during this season, some tarot, and a little bit about the deacons and intuitive messages there for the really, in journal prompts as well. And to really dive deeply into this Taurus season, um, it's focusing on the, such as the eclipse, as well as the new moon. You can find that on my Etsy shop as well as in the link down below, depending on where you are either listening to this on the podcast or either if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find that link listed down below. So Taurus is ruled by the tarot card, the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is a earth energy. In the imagery, we have some sovereign character or figure, someone of a leadership role, dressed in red, a power color. And there's two different individuals in front of this person seeking advice. So we have a trinity that's happening. And this could represent the divine feminine and the divine masculine and the third energy coming together to create a pyramid. And a pyramid has a strong base and it comes to a pinpoint focus on something that we are building and reconstructing in our lives. This card represents teamwork, religion, religious structures, marriage, belief systems. And in my upcoming tarot deck, this is the Apostle Peter that is known as the rock of the church. So this is something that is uh, spiritual and it is initiation into a spiritual realm or a mystery school or, or some sacred circle that consists of initiation, but also spiritual wisdom and dedication and working in a collective group. So this could be something that is presented to you at this time, maybe a new project, maybe joining a new community, joining something that requires a mutual commitment as well as mutual benefits for all parties involved. So the North Node is in the sign of Taurus and the South Node is in the sign of Scorpio. This entire transit has been teaching us and reshaping our minds around our value systems, even the way how we view things that are in our everyday lives that we take for granted, such as relationships, um, people that are close to us and how the way we interact with them, the values that we place on tangible items and possessions, and even the way how we treat Mother Earth. Our finances and resources, personal resources, and even resources on a mass scale has been pulled to the forefront for us to focus on what is really important to us and to enhance our experiences in those arenas. We could have seen a lot of waste in our lives uh, from wasting food, wasting money, and not really investing properly. So for example, wasting food, that's, that is a resource that is something that is a necessity for us all. Maybe investing could have been more valuable to you, investing your money and your resources properly to make them uh, grow and expand and weeding a lot of the unnecessary stuff out and not really realizing how important these things are to us until some level of scarcity came in. And that's where Scorpio comes in, where we could have scarcity, we could have lack, um, we could even feel fear around something that is valuable to us. It could have been a scare with money or maybe you felt like you didn't have enough, maybe reshaping your value systems around money and your personal value, maybe raising your prices if you have a business or either maybe you're changing the way how you see money and the value that you put on money and you put on just looking a certain part the, through this whole cycle, this could have really weeded out a lot of the nonsense, like trying to people please or trying to 
to portray a certain image that wasn't really true to your personal values. Scorpio full moon eclipse happens on May 5th, which is in the second deacon of Scorpio. So I will get into that energy during that time when I create that video to go into that energy a little more deeply. But you can gain some additional information and insight about a cycle that is closing out when you go back and review the solar eclipse that took place on October 25th, 2022. On May 19th, we have the new moon in the sign of Taurus, and that's in the third deacon of Taurus. And of course, I will get into that energy at that at a later date. But overall, with this Taurus new moon, this new moon is a beautiful energy for the set, radical straightforward, practical, and integral intentions surrounding your new value systems. Be well supported in these new intentions. So changes in our value systems could show up very differently for different people. Some people may have been um, into sacrificing their personal intentions and values for to please other people or for it to show up in the world a certain way. An example that comes to mind is like a YouTuber that is into like these shopping sprees, doing makeup hauls, etc. But deep inside, they feel like they're called for a deeper, higher purpose, not not, you know, downplaying that at all. So they may incorporate their aesthetics along with their new spiritual practices, for example. Or it could be on the flip side where someone has been focused on the spiritual realms, but they have no practical, tangible evidence of that spiritual work. So they could be merging the two, bringing their spirituality, their deep spirituality and psychology Scorpio and bring it into the practical world with a Taurus is about like aesthetics and fine. It can be about fine dining and luxury experiences. So it could be a flip side for another group of people. It can show up differently for different people. So some of the goddess energy that is showing up during this time. One is the misunderstood Medusa. So Medusa is a constellation at 26 degrees of Taurus. If you know about the story about Medusa and Perseus and that whole situation with Athena, her and Perseus and how she was the one that was neglected, abused and casted off and even cursed. And some people link that to melanated women, especially with the snakes on the hair, that it looks a lot like um, melanated women's hair pattern and how sometimes they have been demonized. This may bring up old wounds where we were misunderstood that we felt like we were being treated differently or cheated out of something. So I encourage you, if you do not know the story about Medusa, if you go check that story out and you can maybe gain some understanding and understanding about um, her situation and there could be something that is playing out in your life. We also have Mother's Day, which is ironically, but not really, uh, happening in the sign of Taurus. And so Taurus is the young maiden. If you know about the Empress card, that you know that on that card, there's a pregnant miss. She's abundant, she's thriving. And we have Mother's Day, just to throw it out there. If you're looking for a Mother's Day gift, that I do have some mystic Mother's Day gifts. You can check that out on our Etsy shop as well as on our website. And Mercury is in retrograde until about the 15th or 14th of this month in the sign of Taurus. So yes, we are speaking up about our values. We are making it known. Overall, Taurus is a great month, abundant. We have spring energy popping through new growth that is happening. Currently, I have the full video for the goddess Asherah in the Bible. You can check that video out. Make sure that you do like, share, and subscribe. If you're listening to the podcast, be sure to go to our YouTube channel as well as our Instagram and all of our social media handles and join the family over there. Until next time, you guys, this is Minister Ashley. Peace.